Hey everybody, welcome back to another PSO2 New Genesis video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the NGS headline that is actually slated for tomorrow, very early in the morning. So this is actually a re-upload they did from the 30th, but of course we didn't see that. So it's going to be scheduled for the first, which is tomorrow. Time really does fly by. But anyway, in tomorrow's headline, February 1st, at 4 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah, I'm not watching that. <laughs> I never do. It'll be 6 a.m. for me and I'm going to be dead asleep. So, anyway, this says this program delivers the latest news surrounding Sega's new popular online RPG, PSO2 New, Genia, new Genesis, sorry. And just letting you know, <coughs> excuse me, that he's going to be the official navigator. We all know that. This is the first broadcast of 2022. So, nice. So, this will be the February update. Trailers included in game live concert and the Dark Falls battle. So cool. So, in case you haven't, in case you didn't know, in the last video they did showcase the Dark Falls battle, which is, I would say, a little early. I want to say, I mean, it's not bad, but I thought Dark Falls will come in a little later in the game's life, but we'll probably get to fight them soonish. I know they're just going to show them off. So we don't know when that'll be. And then there's more operational before, which is actually one of my favorite segments because it just really tells, you know, you know, them about how the community is responding to the game. They'll answer any questions, any other quote unquote burning questions that a lot of people have been asking and stuff like that from the community. And of course if you do like a hashtag, um, they'll say it on a live stream. I can't remember which one it is. But then you can ask your questions and if enough people ask that question, of course it'll get reported. So it's actually pretty neat. So the broadcast will be streamed on YouTube live at February 1st, 6 a.m. Central. So I guess it kind of did it for my, you know, my time zone. Anyway, so what they could possibly talk about, of course, will be February's update, which will be the level caps going to be increasing. Um, the Alio region is going to get high ranking new sectors, so it'll be sector three and sector four and stuff like that you know just to bring those up to the levels for the level cap which again will be 40 and then we get a new side story so kind of like what they did with the first chapter we had like an extra story about anya and what happened with her and stuff like that and then they're going to implement arcs id and then music disc so your mac can play music while you're out in the field to any song you want etc and then in-game concert so if you haven't beaten the story which you should up to this point um yeah she does a lot of singing in the in the game sorry if i spoiled it and you didn't play it yet. but anyway and of course there's march and it's april we won't get into that and i guess the limited time urge quest got canceled or delayed or something like that and then limited time quest stuff so i'll talk about more about these once that time kind of rolls around for now we'll just let it sit there because as time goes on you do know stuff's gonna be added to this list so oh and by the way they like really redid the website which actually doesn't look too terrible i actually like it so yeah anyway on our last little bit of story or news i should say will be ultra pso2 day so log in for ultra fancy gives and a three-day ultra boost so pso2 day will start on the first and then the premium members get theirs towards the end um they'll actually give you new stuff now so there's actually new boost new task and stuff like that so there's an affordable item bundle of course they're gonna always try to sell you something on pso2 whatever Anyway, um, from the 1st to the 5th, so it's actually going to, oh, it's going to last a while. Pretty cool. Rare drop rate, experience points, twice the regular amount of PSR 2 play, plus Meseta Earn. So this, a lot of this applies to, um, I believe it applies to regular PSO 2. So boost events would be 20% experience points earned and then 50% rare drop boost. So it's not bad. And of course, in NGS, you're gonna have a limited time task for Ultra PSO2 day. So I don't know what the task is. It'll just have to log in and see what's about, but it's pretty neat. Also, if you still play regular PSO2, uh, fun, fun earned is still double. Experience points is 400, rare drop is 400. 
Gathering Fever is 200. Senate earned 200. So yeah, experience points earned in bonus quests plus 200%. Of course, the enchantment increases, augmentation, and modern arms. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I like that. So not only do you get the regular boost, you're going to get now 50 SG tickets, special scratch tickets, and then in enhancement success rate and augmentation success rate. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. So you get 100 star gems, you get four of the special scratch tickets, and then you get in enhancement success rates and in augmentation. That's not bad. Of course, you know about the rapid, yada, yada, yada. We all know about that. So, yeah, it's actually not bad. So, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I know it's not a very long one, but I haven't been really doing that much posting because of work. Of course, it's, it's work, but I got my vacation soon, so I can't complain. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.